Today at the Rangiora Vet Centre, Chloe is in after being paralysed just a few days ago. So this is Chloe. She's a little foxy who had um, a wee bit of an accident in the weekend. Um, she's playing with her friend at home who is a very big, heavy black Labrador and they were playing fairly rough um, and Chloe ended up being body slammed by her friend and having a very serious injury to her neck. Um, she, it happened on Saturday afternoon so she was spent the weekend at the Christchurch After Hours Vet Hospital um, unable to walk at all. She's um, done amazingly well since then but she slipped a disc in her neck at, the, at quite a high level between the second and the third cervical vertebra um, and that disc went pushing onto her spinal cord um, and was stopping all the nerve messages flowing from her brain down um, her spinal cord to her legs. So you can still see with Chloe that she's, she's quite unsteady. Um, she needs a little bit of support um, and she's a little bit weaker on her left side than her right. Um, when we turn her wee feet on, over there, she's actually getting better. She's a wee bit sluggish. She's not quite aware of where those feet are in space, and she'll sit there with her foot turned over for quite a while, not quite aware that it's happening. But considering, considering um, Chloe was pretty well paralysed from the neck down about five or six days ago, she's doing amazingly well, and we're certainly hoping that she's not going to need any surgery to recover from this. Um, she's having lots of supportive care. She spent her first um, three or four days on IV drip with lots of strong pain relief in it um, and she needed a little bit of nutritional support as well she wasn't really feeling like eating when it first happened um, so we needed to tempt her with her favourite things, she had roast chicken and um, lots of syringe feeding to just try and get her going but she's eating well now, um, she brought her wombat with her which is very cute so we make sure that stays with her and that keeps her happy um, and she's also having heaps and heaps of physiotherapy, the physios are spending um, at least one session a day with her, sometimes two just trying to keep her muscle strength going and, and trying to keep her nice and straight and symmetrical. We're starting from a great place with her for a, a dog with a spinal cord injury because she's a very fit, strong little dog. She's got a lot of muscles there, as most um, Jack Russells and Foxies do. They're um, very busy dogs. All right, Chloe. Good girl. So she's a wee bit unsteady and a wee bit wobbly, but she definitely wants to go and do things. Um, she's a little bit weaker on her left side than on her right. We think the disc slipped off to the left side of her, her neck and is pressing more on the left side of her spinal cord than the right. And we're going back to the left there. Come on, sweetheart. Good girl. Sway. Good girl. Come on. So this is Chloe's x-ray looking at her, um, her, the back of her head and um, the spine, um, the neck part of her spine, the cervical spine from the side. So a disc is not really solid thing, it um, has a fibrous outside and a jelly centre um, and we can't actually see the disc itself on an x-ray uh, but we can see the spaces where the discs sit um, and this is her first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth cervical vertebra. We can see between the third and the fourth, the fourth and the fifth, the fifth and the sixth, we've got quite a nice wide black area which is where the disc sits. If we look between C2 to 3 we've lost that wide black space, we've got quite a, a narrow compressed space and the vertebrae are almost touching each other. And that tells us that at least part of the disc is missing from that space. So it, because th this happened to Chloe as a traumatic event, probably what happened is the, the fibrous outside of the disc burst and that jelly component pushed upwards and onto her spinal cord which runs through this canal here. Um, and we think, as I say, we think it went more to the left because she's, her signs are more severe on the left. She's responding really, really well to treatment um, and um, hopefully we're going to avoid the need for her to having any surgery on her neck. Um, neck spinal surgery is quite risky um, and certainly very invasive and it's something we'd rather avoid for Chloe um, unless it absolutely has to happen. Um, and so far so good. I mean, to go from you're not able to stand uh, five days ago to, to walking almost on her own. Um, we're really happy with her progress. Okay. Join us next time when Layla the Labrador puppy gets microchipped.